hello and welcome back so let's talk about the last method splice so we have this array and which is having lot of elements okay when you do splice array dot splice so would you pass two arguments argument one and argument two maybe argument a uh, single argument only so argument one is splice means you are actually removing something from the array right so argument once one means at what from what position how many elements you are removing so argument if argument one is uh, zero then from zeroth element an argument two is two then from the zeroth element you are actually removing two elements from an array so that is splice right so if you do so this is how it works argument zero two means from the zeroth position you are removing the two elements and you can also create a duplicate from this splice method by passing zero means i'm not removing anything just give me the existing array of the uh, same as uh, same again so this is how you can create a duplicate of an array right so this is how the splice works now consider i created array like this <coughs> sorry and now you are saying array delete array one so it's like uh, deleting a property from an object right so you are actually deleting this property then what should be the impact on array dot length it will still be same uh, for your information it will just show this as an empty value or like this right I mean, this is a little tricky that how uh, the, the deletion of property happens on an array. Okay, so this is all about uh, the different prototype methods. You can also look out at MDN Mozilla Developer Network uh, documentation about JavaScript, or you can explore more. Uh, the reduce, filter, and map. These are like considered uh, important methods which you should be aware of because there we are passing callback as a function, right? We are passing callback function and then that callback function is iterating and giving us the result. In future, we will be removing those callback functions with the arrow, arrow functions, similarly like this. So today we are writing the map function like this. Here we are writing function, then we are actually returning i plus one, something like this. So in future we can just remove this to the arrow function and it's a single line return statement so no need of uh, parentheses and the brackets so the sweet and short syntax which we will deal uh, in the es6 about the arrow function so that's it for now